There it is. The watch house. I used to love it here when I was little. But I'm not little, Mother. Why haven't you noticed? Prudy was like a nanny to me. And I don't want a nanny. day, you know. Hello, Prudy. Lovely to see you. Hey, Henny, here you are. And this was Anne. Say hello to Prudy, Anne. Cat got a tongue? No, hello. Come on inside. Tea's all ready. I've just got to wet the pot. What's the racket? It's come. Oh, look at him shaving at this time. Why, you said I had to. Well, I should think so. Well, say hello to Miss Fiona and Miss Anne. Hello. There, now, silly. He's satisfied. Might be a face and come in. Tea's laid in the parlour, Miss Fiona. Oh, Prudy, it hasn't changed a bit. I used to love it here. And I loved having your pet. I thought of you as my own, you know. You were a dear little girl. And now I've brought my little girl. Mother. Now sit yourself down. I'm just going to brew up. Good heavens, Prudy, we can't eat all that. Oh, it's just a bite. No, really, I never touch tea. You weren't going to stand here gassing all day. We're going to have a cup of tea. I'm just about to make it. No, really, Prudy, I've got to get started. You're never driving all the way down to London tonight. I must. I'm a working girl now. Got somewhere to stop in London. Do you think Arthur could be an angel and get me some mints from the shop? Why well, don't you ask him? He is here, you know. Would you mind? I'm trying to give up smoking. With all that I've been going through, it's pretty hard. Uh, I suppose so. Sucking sweets instead will only make you fat, Mother. Go and unpack, Anne. I want to have a few words with Prudy. What kind of mints? Doesn't matter. Go on with you. Come on, I'll just show you your room, pet. I've cleared the wardrobe and the top two drawers. Maybe a man wants a bit of women's talk. Be all right, pet? Yes. You didn't mind my phoning? Yes, you know, it was our pleasure. I didn't know where to turn. Now, Pet, you tell Prudy all about it. It's over this time, Prudy. I can't take any more. It's finished. I've left him for good this time. I'm going to divorce him. See how he manages on his own. Where's that brother of mine? Honestly, he's too slow to come last. There he is. As soon as I've sorted things out, I'll come for you. Sorted things out? I am somewhere to live and a job. Aren't you going to live with Richard, Mother? Luckily, Uncle Richard can put me up temporarily. Uncle Richard. Now, you just behave yourself. It's very kind of Prudy to take you in. You've got your pocket money. You took your time. Look, have you any idea how far it is to them shops? Here's your sweeties, Miss Fiona. Thank you, Arthur. Well, best be on my way. Give me a kiss. Mother. Now, you drive carefully, Miss Fiona. As soon as I'm fixed up. Bye.
Well, hey, how are you, pet? I'm sure you're on the watch shows. Mm, yes, please. What's it for, Arthur? What's it for? Garmouth Volunteer Life Brigade, that's what it's for. This is the brigade headquarters. Gee, for well over a hundred years, the lads have gone out from here to the rescue of distressed craft in the worst kind of weather, regardless of their own lives and safety, and yet folks still come here and say, what's it for? Well, I only asked. Cause it was different than the old fellas, dear. No need of us then. Still of our uses, though. The old fella? Who's he? Good Lord, last you know, now. Oh, I'm sorry, pet. Bit of a hobby horse. Come here. That's him. Henry Cookson, our founder. The old fellow, we call him. He started all this. Gave his entire life to the place. We still think of the watch house as he is. Like, I like as if he's still one of us. Like if he was still here. What do you mean? Like he's a ghost? Well, I mean, this is his place, you see. I doubt he'd want to leave it in a hurry. He looks nice. I do say he was one of the bravest men that ever drew breath. How are you, pet? I'll show you the enemy. The enemy? Aye, the sea, pet. That's what it's all about. Stairs get steeper every time I take them. There it is, the enemy. Doesn't look very dangerous, Arthur. You see them rocks? The black middens. The midden was where folk used to put their rubbish before they had dustbins. All I mean is it doesn't look very dangerous now. No, till a 20-foot wave picks a ship up and drops it down on them and then picks it up again and drops it down again like... like smashing a coconut on a doorstep. But what could you do for anyone stuck up here? Well, we've got this lamp. Pinpoint the wreck and show us where to send the breeches, boy. The tudor line from the cliff we crossed to the deck of the stranded ship, and then when it was made secure, both ends, one by one, that haul the lads across to safety. But how did they get the line across, all the way from the cliff top to the wreck? Rockets, pet. I mean, time went by, the rockets got more and more newfangled, like, but the method stayed the same. You'll know, that is. Now they've got helicopters. They're going to phase out the breaches, boy. They say they'll phase out the watch house one of these days. Progress. But a bit late on the subject. I did all the wiring myself. Uh, loose connection. Arthur! Bring the lass in. It's dark. Oh, uh, there's old Prudy calling us. We'd best get in or she'd be on the warpath. <laughs> I'll show you one more thing, and then we'll be off. Over here. What was that? What? It was a draft blowing the blind. Come here. My pride and joy. Oh, trap the thing. It's working. I made that myself. Great, Arthur. You'll be all right with us, Pat. How here will best be? I get as cold as charity in here after dark. You know, that thing, I could have sworn I'd switch that off. I'll do it. Unplug it, pet, and then we're sure. 
I don't think the electricity leaks. That's what I think. All right, woman, we're coming. The key's in the door, pet. Oh, don't do that. <gasps> Rise and shine, pet. Is it? Seven o'clock. Seven. I'll let you sleep in. Arthur's gone down to fish key. We usually have breakfast when he gets back. Come on. Round you come. Come on. Come on then. Get on there. Come on. Get him. Watch you now. This is her. It's all yeah. Come on, then. It's like being <laughs> flipping royalty. <laughs> ah, the very man. Mr. McGill! Good morning, Arthur. Oh. This is Miss Fiona's bairn, I tell you. <laughs> He's hardly talked about anything else since he heard you were coming up. Oh. I'm Charles McGill. Oh, He's a very important man round here. I wouldn't say that. Not only is he a solicitor, He's also a secretary of the watch brigade. So if there's out you want to know about the watch house, he's the man to ask. Oh, here. I've got some nice fresh herring. Can you be doing with it? I'm on my way to a meeting. Well, stick in your bag, man. Come to any harm. Can you see me facing the borough planning officer with a half a pound of fish in me notes? More than any half pound. I think I'll walk a bit, Arthur. Is that all right? Oh, aye, you carry on, pet. We mainly don't get lost. Bye, Mr. McGill. Bye, Anne. See you soon. Like it? What? The bike. Why? Because it's yours. Mine? How do you mean it's mine? Where did it come from? Sammy Tate keeps the bike shop. He remembers selling a tricycle for your ma'am. Oh, Arthur, you shouldn't have. Too. I'm just going in to look. There's such a thing as a ticket, you know. What? Even if you're a resident? Even if you're the Lord Lieutenant of the county. How much? 35p. Is it worth it? There are three kings buried here, you know. No. And Alexander Rollo. The singer? Singer? No. The man who carried the lantern at the burial of Sir John Moore at Corona. Who? You never heard of the burial of Sir John Moore. It's all in here. Don't suppose you want to buy a copy, do you? The poem's in here as well. Not a sound was heard, not a funeral note. As his corpse to the ramparts we hurried. You sure you don't want to buy a copy? I prefer to hear you read it. Cheeky monkey. Can I leave my bike here? Go on, then. Dear Dad, it's all right up here, but I wish you were here. Mother's gone down to London. I didn't want to leave you. I hope the business picks up and you make a fortune. Write to me. Lots of love, Anne.
Here, boy. Come on. Come on. That's a good boy. taken out a contract on me and you're the hitman. <gasps> I couldn't stop it. It was like being a human guided missile. <laughs> the next time I'll buy you an ice cream. What for? Nearly killing you. <laughs> I'll keep you to that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've got to keep an eye open for Tim or... What's that? Brand of cat food. What oh, idiot. He's a boyfriend. So, you're spending the whole summer up here? Mm. You must be mad. You should have gone to London with your mother. She didn't ask me, and I didn't want to go. You'll go spare up here. It's dead boring. I'll get huge then. I always want to eat when I'm miserable. Me too. <laughs> Next time, we'll each have a knickerbocker glory. <laughs> Sounds like an improper suggestion. <laughs> oh, there's Timo. I'll have to go. Do you want to meet him? Hmm. Tell you what, if you're at loose end Saturday night, we're going ice skating. Ice skating? Listen, I'm not Torville and he's certainly not Dean. Timo, meet Anne. She just tried to kill me. Hi. We're late. No, Timo, you're late. He's quite nice, really, once you get to know him. <laughs> See you Saturday, then, if you can make it. Oh, and get those brakes mended. Bye. That's right, Pet. You give it a good dust. You could attract people here, you know, Arthur. It's like a museum. Ah, there's one or two folk be very interested, I dare say. We'd have to put labels on all the exhibits. And we could sell tickets at the door. Yeah, it's undertaken. Well, not really. Not if we set our minds to it.
Paris, huh? You're going for a walk. Ah, oh, well, not to worry. Bit of a walk will do her good. Put a bit of colour on her cheeks. You've not been making her clean that rubbish, have you? She offered. No wonder she wanted to go for a walk. <laughs> What's this doing here? Oh, she's getting hot. Eee, that wind will cut right through her. We'll have her in bed with pneumonia next. See Look, she... Give us them here. I'll go and take them to her. Come on! Now let's get your clothes on. Here. Van Diemen's Land. What? Have you ever heard of Van Diemen's Land? Aye. It's the old sailor's name for Tasmania. I've never heard that name before. What on earth are you talking about? The hot blood typhoon. What's the hot blood? Have you been dreaming? Look, now we'd better get you home. Come on. Now look, you get yourself straight in and into the bath, you catch your death. You're gonna poison first by swallowing that water. It's full of sewers, I told you, we'll have to get Dr. Morgan. Prudy will have my hide for this. Dr. Arthur, I'm all right. Giraffe, the beast is getting loose. Now, look, you get yourself straight in, and I'll see to him. What's going on? I don't think you'll rest happy till you've broken up the happy home. Oh, I didn't fret. Pet, I've got a new bit of glass inside. I could soon mend it. Now, come on. That's quite enough excitement for one day. 